campground along the Buffalo River in Arkansas in the Ozark Mountains and this is our first boondocking setup. We are not hooked up to power or water and we are just parked in first come first serve parking spot. Beautiful spot. We're getting really lucky. So I'm trying out my bug-free net for the first time. The little canopy that I got. Got my table in here, chairs for us, and we are drinking our coffee bug-free. Cause let me tell you, the bugs are quite thick out here. So this is gonna be a lifesaver. And it's a little humid out here, so decided to bring the venti fan out here. Woohoo! It's working. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Got my little remote so I can. Oh yeah, <laughs> venti fan is awesome. up our time in Tyler Bend along the Buffalo River. This has been a really great campground. We were boondocking, dry camping. We, uh, we went out hiking and swimming all day long, came back and the, actually the power had drained all the way to the very last bubble. And um, we didn't have any lights on, just the refrigerator and the fan in the bathroom. And a fan plugged in. And a yeah, so and I was had something charging in like the little charging port. Not sure if it because it was like 100 degrees out, <laughs> real humid. Maybe the refrigerator was working too hard. I just need a generator. I need to give me a generator. We need so a generator. That's my big next big purchase. Then, so we went, we bought ourselves some floaties, awesome. <laughs> and we just floated the Buffalo River last night. <laughs> short under the distance, moon. a short distance, short distance under the moon. It was amazing. And we went hiking out to um, a really cool homestead. Before that, we went hiking out to a really cool homestead and it was a really beautiful hike, really cool views. And you know this area, Arkansas is really beautiful. So this morning we're gonna pack up and we're just gonna head um, out and explore more of Arkansas. Doing my tire check before we take off for the next road trip. I do this before we take off every time and it looks like yeah PSI is 64 on each tire cold oh there's 61 and 64 <laughs> Arkansas in the Ozark Mountains by the Buffalo National River and let me tell you this place is beautiful we're at the Buffalo Outdoor Center uh, campground and it literally is in the middle 
of the mountains. <laughs> it was a crazy drive here. Windy, very skinny roads and total just beauty. Beautiful. This is the hookup, but I just want you to see this, this view. We're parked right next to this view here. I just wanna, just wanna step over here and show you. I bet the sunrise is beautiful coming up over that mountain. We'll find out in the morning. But this is the setup. We got sewer, sewer and power water. I've been using this cable for the surge protector and it's been working really well. It tightens up until um, it's like a tight cable and it's just really easy to use and lock. I got the splitter so that I can use an extra hose to rinse things off away from the power, away from the power here so it's pointed out that way. And it takes about 10 minutes or less for Amanda and I to hook up this trailer together. We have it down. And this is a nice pull-through site. They are all pull-through sites here. This is how nice the bathhouse is at the Buffalo Center Campground. This is the cleanest, nicest bathhouse I've ever seen. Go in here. There's a code to get in. And then this is what it looks like inside. You have your own individual like bath, like toilet and shower in each each stall. And they're super duper nice. And there's three of them. The laundry, like the washer and dryer is super nice as well. And of course, there's a family one and the men's room. Sunrise in Arkansas. Good morning. So we're done exploring in the Ozark Mountains in Arkansas. We're leaving Ponca, Arkansas to this morning and we spent quite a bit of time here in Arkansas. Five days, six days, five. 
and it's been amazing amazing beautiful it wasn't really on our radar to do that but we we stuck around the mountains around here the ozark mountains beautiful time to come probably would be spring and fall with all the waterfalls and stuff we we went hiking expecting to see waterfalls but they were all dried up so and the river was fun to float but it was pretty low so on to the next adventure all right time to head out did the uh triple check on the hookup the um the lights work in the back doors locked jacks are up check the lug nuts on the tire good to go a little cloudy today but it feels good one last peek at the view everything's closed on um the water connection and power closed, jacks are up. And I, em I emptied the black tank, so everything's closed. All the valves are closed. And the hose, uh, where the hose lives is locked. And the area is clean and closed. Yeah, 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 ready. <laughs>